So I got the phrases I'm gonna use. No habla espanol, pero eres linda. And then she'll say whatever. And then I'm gonna say, como se llamas? Shake her hand, hopefully. And then I'm gonna say, tienes Instagram. Get Instagram and close. Easy as that. Picking up girls in a whole nother country and a whole nother language is possible, even with code approach, which I hate doing, by the way. If you guys wanna see the tender though, remember, Patreon. All right, what's up, guys? So, I'm gonna voice this over, kind of give you guys some insight of what is happening and how we actually made these approaches being in a whole different country, at least for me, and not speaking the language. So first things first, you're probably wondering why me and FedEx are matching. Guys, that was a total accident. Me and FedEx have a similar gym style and we came um, right after the gym to here. So keep that in mind, the matching was not purposeful. But like I said in the last video, guys, these girls be choosing like crazy. And most of these approaches that you're seeing right here, including this first one, it's because they stare. They obviously stare at me and so like it, it just makes it that much easier to go and talk to them and especially with especially with these kiosk girls and the girls who work at the mall they just stare like crazy probably because they don't have much to do so as you see she's kind of giving me her info right here i went for the instagram closes just because i know how clout chasing and, and just how interested these girls are with guys who have an instagram presence which i do and it always works out in my favor so it makes no sense for me to go for a number close but you guys already know that you should be building your social media and instagrams up as much as you can because of that is the modern day and age too you know kind of get girls information like you see she gave it to me she's smiling right there she happy look at her she checking me out and shit but yeah guys um also real quick i am coming out with a program called the digital romeo which will teach you how to do everything when it comes to building your social media escalating on dating apps and it's the total package so vip link is down below in the description so obviously me and FedEx did approach groups too and that past group was not feeling us at all and we just simply walk away. Every girl is not going to be feeling us and what I've realized is that one girl out of the group might be feeling you but since there others aren't like she's not going to you know overdo that right. Now with this next approach me and MJ got at it two American boys and um, we kind of followed them on the escalator while I talked to them and then when we got to the top of the escalator that's when I started talking to them and we just had a very very slight conversation I think this one girl could actually speak a little bit of English very broken but um overall we followed the same approach just a little dialogue got the Instagrams or whatever and that was that very very simple and what I've noticed mostly about these girls is that they're very excited whenever I did come up to them. Very, very good energy in comparison to American girls. American girls, you're like 50-50. They'll either like frown at you or like be shocked or scared. But these girls, very, very receptive. I was shocked about that. And probably because like we are the outliers. We're, we're like attractive black men, which they probably don't see that often. So of course, being in a different country, South America, um, that that oh she's bad. wait a minute who is that hold up <laughs> yeah guys i just lost my full track i think that is a girl that fedex approach yep he's approaching her right here guys you, you saw her that girl was bad she's probably the baddest one out of the whole entire group but um based on my memory i think she told fedex that she had a boyfriend or whatever and then we ended up seeing her actually walking with her family um a few minutes later so yeah, she wasn't feeling it. She probably gets approached a ton. And that's a risk you take with approaching like really attractive chicks. And she's definitely up there in regards to attractiveness. But you know, FedEx did, did his thing. And speaking about him, when we approach uh, these bigger groups, he actually led the interaction. He led the interaction in regards to opening the group. And I was just kind of there because all these girls spoke Spanish and FedEx was the one communicating mostly to them. So I honestly just let him do the work and I was just there kind of winging or just there for more support. But um, they still, you know, were talking to me or whatever afterwards and we all got their Instagrams and IG numbers. From one of these approaches, I'm not going to tell you which one, but 
If you're on the Patreon, all I'm going to say is you already know what happened. Business meetings all day, every day, even from code approaches. And if you want to see that, check out the Patreon down below too. All the links down below, guys. Now, one thing I love about code approaching is the flow you get once you actually start doing it for a minute. Like that first one or two are usually always difficult. But after that, like once once you start getting like good responses and you kind of warmed up to it, it becomes very, very easy. And I don't even like using the word code approach in videos like this because think about it. Half of these are like warm approaches, which means that the girl was choosing us, giving us signals that she's interested and or looking at us in a certain type of way. Then we go up and talk to her. Uh, even the first Columbia vlog, if you seen, if you saw that one with the quote unquote code approach I did, wasn't actually a code approach. It was actually a warm approach. So I think overall I did pretty well. Um, with not having speak the language using the translator and kind of make my a way around that I try to use um, my body language to also convey my meaning and what I'm doing too you know also using the physical touch barrier like touching their shoulder or like a slight hug or handshake or something like that all the same principles still do apply and like I said if I had to pick I truly believe Columbia in regards to approaching women is a lot easier than America just because of how more receptive the women are maybe because Colombian dudes don't approach maybe that's not a thing in the culture and is unique in that way too let's get back into the video yo what is up 18 Austin Dunn back again we are still here in Colombia South America man let me tell you it has been jam-packed with adventure shout out to FedEx Fearless for really being the leader and setting this up for us. We're having a great time. And today will also be a great time because we got a lot planned and we're gonna do multiple events. And you guys are just gonna to have to stay tuned and find out what we're gonna do. Subscribe, like the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We're on the road, squish in the back seat, but we're kinda of used to it. Pause. Well, y'all are. My back is killing me, bro. Boy, bro, I see you like every other day. I appreciate it, bro. bro. Aren't you like from the UK or something? No. This guy is fucking, I know this guy picking yeah. up girls and shit. Yeah. It's fucking animals. So, AD Let's go, house. baby AD. They're getting our initial track through this stairs. Super steep. That's what that stair master cardio is for. I don't do it, but it's gonna be easy for that, man. And the altitude increases too, so it's gonna get harder and harder. Y'all already breathing hard. I hear it. I work. No brakes. No brakes. Let's go, MJ. All right, Kenneth, you're almost there, man. Push through. You got it, bro. Come on. I know it's tough. I... <laughs> Yo, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Come on, man. We're going to catch up with you, man. All right. Let's go. Namisimos, namisimos. Oh my god. How you feeling, Fed? Hey man, light work. You made it to the top though. Miguel, namisimos. Good job. No brakes, man. We made it. No brakes at all. We didn't stop and smell the roses. Nothing. Beautiful views, guys. Beautiful.
Alright guys, we're at Jet Skiing Live right now in this beautiful lake or bay, I'm not sure what to call it. We got my boy FedEx right there. We got MJ hopping on too here soon. Just gonna have fun with it. Kinda explore, take you guys along with me. Let's check it out. Let's go. Alright guys, we are in these nets and boots as you see, in a pretty dope environment because we're about to go ride some ATVs, some four-wheelers, never done it before, pretty excited though, it should be fun, first time doing hella new experiences in Colombia, super dope, super dope. just to keep up with y'all <laughs> yeah i was like damn I'm like, I, at one point i couldn't even see no more it's like where y'all at <laughs> I had so much yeah, sand my toilet turned on for some reason I yeah stuff in my oh, hands hands can't. Bro, yeah. Oh, shit. good thing we need to take a shower yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> 